take your coffee black the way your mother would. One pack of sweet and low, one pack of sugar. Your boyfriend texts you, he's sorry that he's late. He didn't hear the ring, he's on his way, on his way, on his way, on his way. We're here with Owen, uh, aka Cassiotone for the Painfully Loan. You're retiring the name Cassiotone. What are your future plans? Some of the songs I play are you know, like 13 years old and it doesn't feel as creative as it used to just play the same song. So I kind of just want to retire those that music and, and just sort of push forward and you know, spend my time working on, on, on new music. Do you have any direction, musical direction you want to go to, towards? Um, I don't give it that much thought, I guess. I mean, I think each song just sort of comes and uh, I think there's been kind of, uh, I don't want to say progress, I don't know if it's gotten better, but I mean, my music has kind of changed over the years and I think it'll probably sort of continue in a similar direction. But um, yeah, no grand arc, no, no big schemes really. Take the bus to the free clinic on Clemens with my headphones on and no music. Please don't sit next to me. This summer I've, I've been producing a hip hop album for a rapper called Serengeti. And uh, we were working on that all through the summer. And I just actually finished the last mix uh, yesterday morning before I got on the plane. I was like, while I was brushing my teeth and putting my shoes on, like the file was uploading and then like I sent it and then I had to run. But uh, yeah, the album's coming out on Anacon in, this, in early next year. Did it ever occur to you that maybe you should have gone with a different brand than Casio Tone? A different brand than Casio Tone? Oh, I mean, the name was given to the project by someone else oh. and um, it, I was kind of stuck with it for a while. But I think after a few albums, I sort of moved past that. And, um, I just, I think past the third album, I was just making the kind of songs I wanted to make and not worrying about it too much. See a girl from your high school, but she look cool. Is there any like movie you'd ever wish you'd written a soundtrack for? I'm a really big fan of like '70s crime movies, like bank robbery and like heist movies. Um, like there's a Dustin Hoffman movie called Straight Time that I like a lot, or Dog Day Afternoon. I would have written the shit out of a song for Dog Day Afternoon. That would have been great, yeah. Personally, I would have loved to see, have seen, not not to see you associated with bad movies, but I would have loved to see Twilight with a soundtrack by you. Oh, but I haven't seen those movies. Are they good? No. no. <laughs> I saw that the Swedish vampire movie that let the right one in. Oh. I thought that was great. I would have written a song for that if they'd asked me to. That's the right kind of vampire movie, I think. I don't like vampires when they're sexy. Do you think this particular tour has, because it's your last one with this moniker, do you believe that it has um, like a pre-nostalgia feel to it? Well, I was pretty picky about where I was going. I was like, didn't really want to go to places that I wasn't excited to see. And I just finished like a six week US tour that was really long and grueling. And um, I haven't thought too much about what this tour was going to be like. I was kind of, Europe is usually such a stress to come over because there's so much paperwork to get ready and like packing is a whole different ordeal. But this one came so fast after the other tour that I kind of am just glad to be here. Listless intellectual in a prime.